Okay, so here we are, Eating Your Feed, the show where the man behind the camera, Adam, makes people make food that they've seen in viral internet videos. Today we're going to be making the Flaming Hot Cheeto Burrito. So this restaurant, Sayulitas, and they make apparently many of their popular menu items with Flaming Hot Cheetos. But today we're interested in the burrito. And the burrito is that big. Carne asada, a liquid avocado sour cream, a bunch of Flaming Hot Cheetos, and a scoop of liquid cheese. To help me out, I have Rie, tasty producer, chef extraordinaire. Any other, anything else you want me to call out? Your friend, hubby friend? Yeah, we're a friend. <laughs> today I'm making this. The size of a kitten. Pretty massive kitten, actually. <laughs> of a cat. And it doesn't have rice and beans. That's what I noticed, too. Maybe there's something to that combination. Anything you think I should watch out for? I think since there are lots of ingredients, make sure I season everything well. Hopefully I can just have a perfect burrito to present. First up, we're gonna start by marinating the beef. I think this is Wolfgang Puck's apron. I made a video with him two years ago and he left his apron behind. Hopefully he never watches this video. I have 1.89 pounds of flat meat. I also got this because on the internet, when you're bad at cooking, you want lots of little tricks. You go like that, now you can stick all of your ingredients in there and it stands up straight. Nice new cutting board. So I'm kind of making this one up too. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, you just put tasty liquids and spices in a tub and you put the meat in there and then you're good to go, right? So we're gonna start by juicing some limes and this orange. You know that trick? Oh! It releases the juice. I'm gonna start by rolling the lime and then we'll cut it. And then we'll take this thing. People watching this video are enjoying the speed at which this is happening, but in real life, it took many minutes. Shut up. Oh, this was a juicy. Do you hear that? All right, that's gonna be enough juice. Oh yeah. So we got our juices, goes into the bag. Garlic, I feel like five cloves. We'll add a bunch of cumin, that much. Chipotle chili powder. A lot of recipes call for some kind of other smoky pepper type thing. We have this ancho chili, a bunch of salt. Oregano. Next I'm gonna take cilantro the silliest of the herbs. Get it? People are laughing. Like this much? If your cutting board does that, it's not safe. Put some olive oil in too, to kind of, smells pretty good. Okay, in my meat goes. And now we got a bag of meat. This will go in the fridge for at least an hour. Okay, so it's time to start making, to try making tortillas. These are gonna be flour tortillas. You know, there's a ton of recipes for this. It's flour, a fat, and salt, essentially. Some call for baking powder. Most ask for a little bit of water or some ask for milk. I'm gonna start with three cups of flour here. A teaspoon of baking powder. Some salt in here. We failed to buy lard, but I did manage to buy duck fat. It's like if you if you made fat into a butter. Look at that. It smells like a bird. It, it's like melting from the warmth of my hand. Adam asks if that's the name of my memoir. Ooh, not an exact measurement. Four wads of that. So now I'm gonna start clumping this by hand. Ooh, that's a weird feeling. Yeah, so I'd use warm water. It's already busting a move here. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Why did I do that? Give me some more flour. I, it became very wet. Now I'm trying to balance it back out with some flour. I'm a total dough noob, by the way. In every video that we do where I have to do a dough, I it up bad. Okay, I think this is actually going pretty good. The dough is bouncing back. I'm gonna wrap this in plastic so that moisture doesn't escape. Give that an hour to rest. Since we're making a spicy burrito today, I thought, why don't I have a spicy beer cocktail as well? So we're gonna make a michelada real quick. I'm referencing a Bon Appetit article. It's called How They Make Micheladas in Mexico. I'm gonna juice some limes. I found a better juicer this time. Oh yeah. This is like a spicy salt. Put a little bit of lime juice. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that, nailed it. His is for a big batch, so I'm just kind of making up the proportions. Yeah, a little hot sauce, dash of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, I guess I'll do ice next. So this is a tomato-y clam juice. And for this, it's pretty much just one-to-one -one with a uh, beer. Just pretend that that ratio is perfect. It's 
delightful. We're gonna start rolling out the dough that we made. There's some white spots on here that I hope are just the, the pieces of fat. Let's see how big we can get this stuff. It's so squishy. It, this is amazing feeling. I'm just gonna try to get a basic circle shape, which I think we've all been in an art class where we tried to draw a circle and it's just the hardest thing ever, so. God, how do you get a circle out of this? It feels nice and thin and light. I think I'm going to fire up my griddle and just see how this cooks. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Got some stuff happening already over here. Stuff is puffing up. I think I'm just gonna have to turn this a lot. Oh, God. Oh, that's so hot. I'll keep my hand on here until it's time to turn it. Oh yeah, that's what that's what I want. Look at that. It's definitely like the doneness of a quesadilla at the moment. So I think if I tried to roll this, it would not go too great. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, I think if I did this again, but just flipped it fewer times so it didn't dry out. So we're gonna make our cheese sauce now. A little roux action, like you'll roux the day that you were born. Adam Bianchi. I perfected this technique, making cheesy hamburgers. Adding the cheese is so much fun, I'm having a hard time stopping. All right. Uh-oh. I think it's broken. Cheese sauce attempt two. So I'm actually gonna take my milk and warm it in the pot first. In the meantime, I'm gonna grate this cheese and put this back in here. Two tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons flour. This ratio looks a lot better this time. Okay, now I'm gonna slowly add the milk and just pour it everywhere at the same time. Scalding milk underneath the pot, that's good. I wonder if I can blot up this milk without setting a paper towel on fire. Nope. Okay, that'll take another minute. It's cheese time here. Way more togetherness on the spoon. Creamy texture. Okay, so that's a cheese sauce. Oh, here's a good idea. Take some of my leftover tortilla test. Mornay fundido. We just stopped the video right here. One thing I am gonna do is pull our meat out of the fridge. Ooh. So it cannot be super cold when we're trying to cook it. And I think I'm also gonna pull it out of the marinade so that it can be a little drier. Time to avocado sauce. So the guacamole that's in the video was pretty much just a super creamy green sauce. I think I'm just gonna do avocados and lime juice. A little salt. Oh, that's a lot. I think that's fine. It's time to grill some meat. We have a hot cast iron here and there it is. And I'm basically using this like I would if I were grilling. I feel pretty good about this. Boom, first flap down. We're gonna let it rest in some foil until we're ready to slice. All right, so here are our neon spicy cheese crunchies, AKA Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Little taste test. I mean, they're so good. So the meat has rested. We're gonna slice into it now to kind of match what was happening in the video. We'll cut them kind of into these strips and then against the grain like that. Give me one second. It's like a solid medium. In the video, it was like well done chunks of meat. But I think this is pretty good. I can have that, Adam. The time has come to make the perfect tortilla to wrap up this burrito video. Flour the surface, retrieve the dough a generous portion. All right, I'm just gonna go for a mega tortilla with this one. I'm gonna try to do this one very carefully. People who know how to make tortillas are gonna be laughing at this video. And I'm just muttered, they won't be the only ones. That's pretty much a perfect tortilla. What do you think? It's, uh, it's big, it'll fold, so we're gonna go with it. Here we go. Beef, add a pinch of salt to this because I under seasoned it slightly. Next, green stuff. Guacamole is not an extra $2 at this burrito place. Crema, which is satisfying all my fantasies of eating Elmer's glue as a child. The good stuff. I don't want them poking holes in my tortilla that I worked so hard to make. You ready for this one? There you have it. If that doesn't look like that, 
and you're a liar. Now for this fun part. Ooh. I can go. Hey, Rie. Look what I made. Burrito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not giant. Was it a giant burrito? It was, yeah, it was pretty big. Okay. And the problem is I could only make a tortilla so big. The most important thing is flavor. That's totally what I was focused on. <laughs> Ready for this, Adam? Oh, the color. Yeah, look at that. Pretty. Cheers. Cheers. I like the crunch. I don't want to automate this is good. I mean, because <laughs> it's Cheetos. Yeah. Junk food. Well, it's good. Well, you, you do keep eating it. Yeah, I think visually it, we pretty much got it. I'm actually surprised at how well these components work together. I didn't help you at all this time. It's pretty soon I'm going to be coming over to your videos, telling you how to do stuff. <laughs> Another day in the books here on Eating Your Feed. Adam, how about I make you one? Watch, this is gonna be the best one. The cheese is like as hot as cheese could possibly be. <laughs> is this why you only have potato salad for lunch? No, 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 no,